OMG Pat, is this really you? I can't believe I won something. This is a message that I sent to myself, or at least somebody pretending to be me. In fact, this person is a scammer. And people like this have been scamming people on my channel and several other channels here on YouTube, and especially in the Pokemon community for a very long time now, and something needs to be done about it. So I messaged one of these guys pretending to be somebody else to see exactly what happens and to make you aware of what's going on so that you don't fall for this scam. Chances are, if you've left a comment on a YouTube video, you may have received a reply like this. These are the scammers doing their work to try to get you to send them money. How? Well, we'll get into that in just a minute. But you've got to be aware of these because they are prevalent everywhere. This is a huge problem, not just in the Pokemon space, but all over YouTube right now. Now, we've been working really hard at Deep Pocket Monster to block these users, to filter them out, and YouTube's trying their best to come up with solutions for this too, but it's not enough. Now, these might look like an obvious scam to you, but it's not to others. And the truth is I've gotten emails and messages from people who have literally been scammed out of their good hard-earned money. So I've decided that I've had enough. So I'm going to go in here and actually reply to a bunch of these guys so that we can mess with them a little bit and hopefully make you aware of the things to look out for so you can avoid being scammed too. Now, I know we're not going to change things overnight. This is where it starts. And at least we'll waste these guys' time so that they're not scamming other people like you. All right, this is going to be so much fun. I cannot wait to waste these people's time because they absolutely deserve it. Speaking of deserving, this person right here is our first target person who's impersonating yours truly. So obviously I can't be myself and reach out to this person if we're gonna play around a little bit. I need a fake name. So fake name we're gonna use comes from one of my favorite movies, National Treasure. No, not Nicolas Cage's character because that would be Benjamin Franklin, which is a little too sus. We're gonna use his little techie friend's name, Riley Poole, played by actor Justin Bartha. Let me practice really quick. Hi, my name is Riley Poole. I think it fits. And then I'm gonna sign up for a Skype account. This allows me to get a phone number because in order to connect with these guys, I need to connect on an app on my device called Telegram. Now I have that already, but I'm not gonna use my personal one. I need to set up a fake account and the fake account needs a phone number. So I'm gonna get one from Skype and we're gonna make it all happen. Let's fast forward to Telegram because it just takes a while to set up. All right, here on Telegram, I'm gonna set up my profile really quick. So I'm gonna find a younger picture of Justin Bartha. Hey, I think we are ready to go. All right, let's find Deep Pocket Monster. It actually says official page. That is not true. Even though they say official, it doesn't mean it's official. Let's see exactly how this conversation goes down. OMG Pat, is this really you? I can't believe I won something. The chances are so little. Please let this really be you. Welcome. Can I see a screenshot for confirmation? Not the most friendliest of welcomes, but okay. And here's me trying to continue to be excited. Yo, Pat, no way, dude. You must be up late like me. Haha. -ha. Let me get that for you. Now let's have a little fun here. I'm going to ask a random question. So I ask, do you like Miltank? I'm a big fan of Miltank. I'm sorry. I just can't believe I'm talking to you right now. I'm Azazel on YouTube. Here's the screenshot of the comment. I just pulled a random comment that this person replied to and apparently it worked. Good. How long have you been following this channel? Hmm. Okay. Maybe they're trying to check to see how long I've been subscribed, but how would they know they are not Deep Pocket Monsters? So I can pretty much make up anything. I don't even remember. I think I saw your videos over a year ago, but I can't remember when I subscribed exactly. It was your experiment video from the sunlight that got me really interested in following more closely. And now I want something. I can't believe it. It's incredible what you've done with DPM. You must be excited. It's growing so fast. Also, do you like Miltank? I need to know. Wow, thanks for being an active member of my YouTube channel. God bless you so much for being such an amazing subscriber. Wow, thank you so much. I feel very, very blessed. Let's see what I can sort of uncover here. What videos do you have coming next? You can tell me, I won't share. I've become a big fan. I need to know, he he. Also, do you like Miltank? My name is Riley, by the way, and Riley loves Miltank. Yeah. Thanks for the love and support toward me. Man, the milk tank stuff really isn't hitting, but we're gonna keep trying. OMG, I knew it. You milk tank lover, the best. I'm pleased to inform you that your YouTube profile was picked for the contest winners list. Why is contest in brackets? Yes, one, 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 one. Yeah, I need some personal certain information such as full name, valid email address, valid phone number, approved home address, approved. So my logistics manager can start up the shipping process. Excellent, let me get that info for you right away. One sec. While I get that, can I ask you what you like about Miltank so much? He says, okay. For me, it's the udders. And not just one, not just two, but four. All right, so I give him my name, my email address, my number, and the address is 701 Constitution Avenue. What is that address? It's actually the National Archives Museum, which is where the Constitution lives. Office A113, which is an Easter egg for Pixar. Just thought I'd put it in there. Okay, hold while I send your credentials to my logistics manager can start up the shipping process. I didn't give credentials, but okay. And a logistics manager, you fancy, Pat, you fancy. Amazing, what are you sending exactly? Now we're gonna see exactly what my prize is. 
Also, what other Pokemon are your favorite? Boom, we got a screenshot, 400 cards, card test. That does not look like a nice prize, but your package includes Pokemon Base Set Unlimited and XY Evolutions Shiny Mill Tank. Yo, this guy, this guy knows the way to my heart. Wait, wait, wait. Base set unlimited, like cards or packs or what? And a shiny mill tank? Dude, you're going to make my head explode. Awesome. When can I expect the prize? I can't wait to tell all my friends about this. Thank you, Pat. You're so generous. And then the shipping costs. Here's the shipping charges to your shipping address. Choose what suits you best. Oh, wow. I need to pay that to get the prizes? Yeah for your shipping. I remember you said in a stream once that you would always pay for shipping yourself. Is this different? Yeah. Okay, where should I send the funds? Payment method available, PayPal, Zelle, Cash App, cryptocurrency. Great, I can try PayPal, but sometimes that doesn't work. Do you have Venmo? My thoughts are that Venmo, I might be able to actually learn a little bit more about this person if they do have Venmo. PayPal available, Venmo not available. Family and friends option only. Maurice, at yahoo.com. That does not sound like Deep Pocket Monster or Pat Flynn. What a random PayPal address to send funds to and to send it at friends and family, which means there's no way I'd be able to get it back if I sent it. Yeah, definitely, definitely a red flag there. Maurice, who is Maurice, Pat? Just making sure everything is legitimate before I send the money. Sorry for asking, sometimes you never know. And then Fake Pocket Monster says, that's my logistics manager. Ah, okay, that's great. Thank you for letting me know. Once done, send me a screenshot to confirm your payment. Is Maurice up at this hour too? Yeah. You both are working nonstop. I love it. One second, I'm gonna see if PayPal is working right now for me. Thanks again, Pat, you're the best. Okay. Oh no, it's not working for me right now. Are you sure you don't have a Venmo? If none of your payment is working right now, you can always buy gift card online. So obviously you can see what they're doing here. They want you to get money in some way to send to them that is not traceable at all. A gift card would not be traceable. So I have an idea. I wanna see if I can entice this person with literally just sending cash. My online purchases aren't working right now, but I can send you cash, no problem. I have some saved up in my piggy bank at home and I definitely have enough. What's the address that I can send it to, Pat? Oh wait, it's the address in your videos, right? Unless you want me to send it somewhere else. I can send it in one day. I'm trying to be very attractive here. Go and get card from any nearby store. Wait, why do I need to get a card? I can save a transaction by just sending you the money direct. Your PayPal isn't working, so card is acceptable for your shipping to begin. I'll send you my cash in my piggy bank. It's $200, which should cover it. All I need is an address. Piggy bank not available. Piggy bank not available? No, it's available, I have it. No, it's my piggy bank at home. I'm going to smash it. It's a mill tank piggy bank, but it's worth it. And get my money and send it to you. Can't you get the card so we can begin? Hmm. I'll just send you the money. I just smashed my piggy bank, not available. Whoop. See, I have $200. I can send you, just send me an address. I'm happy to pay extra to get it to you more quickly. There's no way you have to get the card. How about $300 in cash? I can send it to you overnight. No way. $500. I want to help you buy more things to give back to the community. I have $500 in an envelope ready right now to send to you. Just shoot me an address and I'll put it in the mail first thing in the morning. Get the card and I will receive it since your PayPal is not active. So yeah, they definitely want me to either PayPal or get a gift card and send that information over and that's not going to happen. Now I'm not done with fake pocket monster right now. I have one other idea to see if I can pull any more information from him, but there's some other channels that are actually getting scammed quite a bit as well. And they're bigger channels than mine. You know them already. Poker Rev, Lean Heart, Unlisted Leaf, the, the list goes on and on. These guys are everywhere. So let's go have some fun with some of them too. This guy who's impersonating Lean Heart is about to get a surprise. OMG Lean Heart, is that really you? I'm a huge fan. Hello, you're welcome. How are you doing? Kindly send a screenshot of the reply you received on your YouTube comment box for confirmation. Literally same thing as the other person. So amazing of you to give away prizes to your subscribers and fans. I'm freaking out right now. I'm totally freaking out right now. How long have you been my subscriber? Interesting, same question, probably to just have a little bit of conversation, get the person even more excited. Dude, I've been a huge fan ever since the 2020 pandemic started. That's when I started watching Pokemon content and eventually I subscribed. I love the reactions you have when you pull a good card, like in the library, that was the best. I can't believe I'm speaking to the Leon Hart himself. What are you doing up so late? Also, would it be weird if I got a tattoo of you on me? I was asking my friends and they think I'm crazy, but I think that would be cool. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty cool actually. You won. You're among our shortlisted winners. Thank you for watching and showing love. And thanks for being an active subscriber to my YouTube channel. We appreciate you by giving you a prize. Keep learning from our YouTube channel. I will for sure. Thank you so much. How can I redeem my prize? What else do I need to do, Leonhardt? Also, where can I send you something as a thank you? Moments go by. 
Leanheart, are you still there? A few more moments go by. I'm designing my tattoo right now. Three hours later, hello. Okay, before we can proceed, you will have to fill this delivery form. So all the usual things that a person might ask for for shipping purposes. And then Leanfart called me. He reached out again a number of hours later to say hello, to see if he could initiate a conversation again. I'm done with that one. All right, let's try this on PokerRev's channel. PokeRev, I'm a huge fan. Is that really you? I can't believe you replied to one of my comments and I can't believe I won something. Thanks to your comment and likes, I really appreciate. Kindly send me a screenshot of the message sent to on YouTube. Moments go by, I don't say anything. And then he says, I'm waiting for a screenshot. Dang Rev, kind of pushy. I'm trying to figure it out and look up directions. My dad is asleep right now, so I don't want to wake him. I think he thinks these things are not real. Can you tell me how to take a screenshot? I'm sorry, I don't want to miss this chance. Anyway, I was just buying some time because I needed to find a screenshot because I didn't have one available, but eventually we found one and this is the screenshot I offered. And then I said, I need to ask you a question. Okay, you can ask. How do you keep your beard looking perfect? I wash, oil, and dry it every day. Ah, the oil, that's the secret. You need to tell your friend Deep Pocket Monster to use oil because his beard be looking nasty lately. <laughs> okay, anyway, what else do you need besides the screenshot? Do you see it? Send your home address. Sure, no problem. 931 Thomas Jefferson Parkway, Charlottesville, Virginia, the home of Thomas Jefferson at Monticello. Monticello? Monticello? You know what I'm talking about. Hold while my logistic manager process your details. Ah, another logistics manager. How come you're up late like me, Rev? Because of you guys and YouTube is my life. Hmm, maybe this is the real poker Rev. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Rev. Not folky Rev, but real poker Rev. Yeah, that makes sense. Congrats on 1 million subscribers. Your address has been confirmed. Thanks, great. Okay, asking for all the usual things again. Sure thing, one second. I offer all that information. Okay, so are we to proceed with the shipping? Hmm, it's interesting. He hasn't asked me to pay for anything yet, so we're gonna see how far we can go. Yes, how soon will I get my items, do you think? Also, what exactly am I getting? I was too excited to even know what the prize I was shortlisted for is. Ha ha, you were lucky to be amount our shortlisted winners who will be given a PC and a mystery box. A PC, like a personal computer for reals, Rev? Don't you like it? Of course, I wasn't expecting a computer, wow. Which PC is it? I hope it's a good one because I'd like to game with it. My favorite game I've been waiting to play is The Hunter, Call of the Wild, a hunting game. Just gonna see if I could scare this person a little bit. Yes, it's a good one. I like to hunt. Do you hunt at all, Red? What PC do you want? Because we got you the Asus. You got me one and then you asked me what I wanted? That doesn't make sense. How much memory and RAM and what's the graphic cards like? I wanna see if this person knows his stuff. Also, have you heard of Call of the Wild? It's so cool, it's an open world game and you can go hunting like in real life. Asus, ROG, Strix, G17, yada, 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 all these specs. Okay, so he's got the specs, pulled them from somewhere. Dude, my man, Rev, always hooking it up. Thank you so much for this. Completely unexpected. This helps out a lot. I've been going through some stuff in life and this will help out a lot. Thank you. Okay, FedEx are going to ship it to you. Okay, great. When can I expect the package? As soon as you're done with all the shipping, right? I gave you all the information. Thank you so much, Rev. You're incredible. I can't wait for the package to arrive. I'll definitely film a video about it when I get it. So far, so good. He hasn't asked me to pay for anything. Note. You are to pay for the shipping charges. All right, never mind. Wait, really? I thought this was a giveaway. Yes, but you need to pay for the shipping, but you need to pay for shipping. Unfortunately, that's going to be a problem. Remember the life stuff I was just telling you about? Yes. Well, I'm going to be having surgery next week and cannot afford spending money on shipping right now. I hate to ask, but this would make my day. Would you be able to send the package for free for me? The package are free, but you need to pay for shipping charges. It costs 30 to $50. I know, but I'm just asking you from the bottom of my heart for your kindness. Just a few sales of your mystery packs will make up for this super kind, generous act. Please, it would make me and my doctor, JD Dorian, incredibly happy. He's here with me in the hospital right now. We just got you a PC and a mystery box. Say hi to him. Wow, okay, yes. That's like thousands of dollars. I think it's silly you're asking me to pay an additional $30 on top of that. Why not just give it away for free entirely? It's free and awaiting shipment. He says, you're being pretty rude, Rev. I'm trying to defend you. LOL, I got to go. Others are waiting for you. Oh no, we're losing them. No, Rev, wait, I'm sorry. I just can't believe you don't want to help a person out that's in this stage of life right now. I'm sorry. How's the new baby, by the way? Awesome, thanks. What do you think he's going to be when he grows up? YouTuber, I hope. Well, guess what, Rev? You didn't have a new baby boy. You had a new baby girl. Let's see if he bites even more. What about a beard like his daddy, LOL? So are you gonna ship the items to me free, including shipping? I promise I'll make it up to you. No way, LOL. I told you, FedEx are the shipping company. 
and that's when he dropped off. So it seems like we now know how these guys operate and please be aware of this and do not engage at all. In fact, what I'm doing is probably not the safest thing in the world too, but I'm doing this as a service to the entire community here. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. But we're not done yet because we're gonna go back to fake pocket monster. And we're gonna see if I can convince him to send me some information that might help us uncover who this person is. He last said, get the card and I will receive it since your PayPal is not active. And then I said, actually, I have another way. I can send you a wire transfer to your bank. This will be almost instant and you'll have it in your account immediately. Yes, this is perfect. What's bank? What's a bank or which bank? What? Okay. If you give me your bank address, phone number, and your checking and routing number, I can transfer $500 into your account right now. Okay. Mm. So here's what I need. Now it's my turn to make a list of demands. Hold. I have my Bank of America page open and ready for the information. It all has to match perfectly or else it'll tell me it's not right and it won't go through. Okay. Man, Pat, this is gonna be so fire. I hope you'll give me a shout out in one of your videos when you buy cards with all the extra money. Yeah. You have the information ready? Not yet, hold. Okay, no problem, since it's late, I'll add some more money for you in the transfer because I know you put it to good use. Thanks again for what you do, Pat. And I think it was at this point, this person realized that he wasn't getting any money and also that he wasn't gonna give me any personal information that might reveal exactly who this person is. Not yet, at least. Now, I've been doing a lot of digging on scan operations like this and we've only just scratched the surface. I could go a lot deeper, I can figure out what, it, what their IP address is, but that's not important and I wanna remain safe, right? The most important thing is that you know that this exists and you know to avoid them at all costs. The only way to stop them is to stop making this work for them. Any winnings that happen here on Deep Pocket Monster are gonna be through my live streams and you will see an official Deep Pocket Monster account with a check mark if I ever reply to you. That's how you know it's real. Otherwise, it's not me. These are scammers and yeah, karma is a B.